such a great show. There, all the paintings in the show deserve to be here. Everyone who has contributed to this exhibition knows how to draw, knows how to exploit the glories of watercolor, and how to present their work. Everyone has it nicely framed, and the people who hung this show really knew what they were doing because the colors are grouped nicely together, subject matter works well together, and hopefully you're all going to enjoy walking around and taking in the really beautiful art. I wanted to talk about a few of the paintings I selected as winners. It's not an easy job to pick one painting over another because they're individual items. They, they are, it's like apples and oranges. They're all different and they all have wonderful attributes. This painting, however, um, this simple painting of a white bag is what I like to reference as making the mundane sacred. So an ordinary white paper bag on a white background, <laughs> but it's so much more. You can see the superb technique of um, showing us light on form, which indicates where there's a ripple, a fold, the elegance of the handles, the softness of the cast shadow. It is just supremely well done, and it's a painting that after I saw it, a few days ago, I could not forget it. And so that's why I have purchased this amazing painting. Many of these paintings just glow with glorious color. This one has fabulous textures in it. This is another one that I selected for an award, this portrait. And I love this notion of not completing all of the face but letting it just blend into the background. It provokes in the observer uh, a sense of mystery and the unfinished quality of it really evokes us to ask questions about what is the mood, what is the sentiment, why is it so blurry and fuzzy. And it's incomplete here and then as we come into focus, the drawn lines in the scarf are another element that contrasts to this soft, faded away, distant, in, indistinct area. Many of the people in here are very uh, adept at painting water and reflections. We also have a really great collection here of an automobile and an airplane. Check out the reflections in the chrome. The detail is truly amazing. And what's fun about this painting is the detail in the chrome and then this very loose abstract shadow beneath it. Okay, let's walk along to this wall. I'd like to show you this one which I selected as an award winner. I was struck by the vibrancy of the color, the wonderful, playful uh, women that are all lined up in this extreme rectangle. Check out the negative spaces and how it meanders through this wonderful interplay of femininity and their musical instruments. Just a very high chroma, fun piece that just, you feel the jolliness, the, the pleasure of them being together. And so I couldn't not make notice of this painting. There were several portraits in this show. And this one is very charming and well done. And I think since COVID, I have found an affinity for portraits because seeing how well an artist can express humanity and relationships has really moved me. This artist is very good at doing details and light on form and composing the space in a dynamic way. This painting I gave an award to because I love how abstract it is. It's a realistic subject. It's a close-up of ripples on water, and it really does reveal to us the highlights and the shadows within the ripple. But because it's brought up and straight, and we look on it um, straight without any horizon line, it loses its identity as ripples in water and becomes this wonderful abstraction. This one moved me a lot. I love this color scheme of this deep, rich blue and then the soft hills back here, so well done. 
This one, check out these glowing trees, that orange, that gold orange edge on those and the softness of that water really impressed me and I enjoyed looking at that all week. Around the corner, we have some more wonderful winners. This one, this is called Dinner with Friends and I was impressed by once again kind of an extreme rectangle and the subject matter being placed higher up in the composition wonderful negative space good job of rendering glass and reflections and shadows but one of the things that gave me great delight was the way that fork just pushes in to the picture plane and then is echoed by this little lazy fork in the distance Here's another one, a portrait that has great detail and shows probably a sister and a brother walking down the path. So many included animals. Along here you can see that theme. A nice job of rendering uh, twilight water. Here's some uh, drama with wildlife, nicely backlit. And over here is a well-lit interior space, and I like the way that the dark shape here groups with this chair, and this table is illuminated in the background. Nice job of rendering dark to light and taking us back to that table, and bright colors versus neutral. So it's a nice kind of a yin-yang composition. And that one as well, I gave an award to. On this wall, this non-objective, which looks somewhat like seaweed or growing things, has such a delightful technique with the um, spidery, like bright colors. And while it doesn't necessarily have to be anything, you can't help but look at it because the color is so vibrant and it just pulsates with life. Uh, beautifully done. And then we'll walk down here and you can see more. Oh yes, this wall's interesting. So this cotton field, look at the vantage point of the viewer has way down low and looking up. That's pretty exciting. And speaking of unusual perspectives, look at these two, both done by the same artist. These crack me up. Look how the tuba goes out the picture plane and makes that wonderful S curve. And then you have the University of Alabama, which is popular subject. Oh, Auburn, I'm sorry. <laughs> you know I'm not from here, right? <laughs> I just made someone mad. And then look at this guitar. Check out how we're looking up the neck of it and the strings and the foreshortened fingers. That's a pretty unusual perspective. Over on this wall, I know that I gave this painting the number two award. This is such a well done portrait. Check out the humanity, the character of that face and the use of green next to pink, next to light. Check out the light on her face, the sweetness of her. But as much as her face is important, the dog is in the center and her arms come around and caress this dog in such a loving way the pattern on the shirt, everything about it was just perfection. This one I admire a lot for its transparent leaves and the overlap of them and the negative spaces are so well um, designed. Each space is different, different shape, different amount. A very glowing rich flower on the complementary color. And then over here, let's take a look at the extremely uh, moving face of this man. You feel the weariness. You feel um, maybe he's lost, hungry, cold. It just says so much. I can't believe how well rendered that face is. And then his companion here, and then the ironic part of it, their beards are the same, and that relationship just really, really uh, made my day when I discovered that that was the case. So I'm not going to say any more about the show, but I hope you enjoy looking at it, and whether or not you agree with my choices doesn't matter, and you should be able to pick your own and 
and just savor those and maybe you'll even want to take one home. That would be ideal. And um, just once again, I want to thank everyone here for their generous hospitality. It's true, it's the best in the South and um, thanks so much.